Jax and DeBoss, because they earned their spots here. And uh, they clearly had to do something big to earn their spot in the top four. Right now, offstage coming. Doggo onto D-Boss. D-Boss yet to pick up a weapon. And Doggo wasting no time whatsoever trying to get an early one over on the le uh, left-hand side there. And uh, like you were saying, household names, uh, definitely household uh, picks here as well, trying to get things going. But you also have... Uh, Whoa! Well, we have... We have Undertaker exiting the building uh, quickly. Elsom already yeah. losing a stock. <laughs> Not really staying true to the name of the Undertaker, but at the same time, that's Dex on the Orion, which we've been seeing Orions already having a lot of success in the Australian region. That might just be the meta for the region is, uh, is the Orion in doubles. Like we're saying, you know, that it, you're never really in the wrong spot in doubles with the, the uh, Lance picks, period. Uh, and that's uh -oh. all we saw at Summers. And here it that story continues. But Elsom is going to smack, uh, get smacked back up as he tries to go down there. Spear DC getting a separation. But that is going to lead to a side air because Dex was not in a position to get away from a punish there. Good fight from D-Boss. Able to survive the onslaught of attacks. Dex is going to clean up that stock from Doggo. All things considered, this is relatively even. We've got... Everybody on second stocks, but two of them are in the red. Yeah, definitely very competitive looking start here, but Deb's gonna go ahead and get knocked out pretty quickly. And uh, let's see what happens over here with Elsom, who is playing on the base of this. But he did get knocked out very quickly before he's holding on to this much better. Doggo was the one who held on for a long time, of course, but that whiffed side, uh, side light not gonna lead to a knockout. Yeah, and now you're starting to see that Undertaker defense, that Thor defense coming in, I believe, base seven. So he's pretty tanky, and he's able to survive a lot. Good read from Doggo. We'll pick up both and lead to an end sig onto both blue team members. Doggo's going crazy. Uh, Doggo has been controlling the pace of this game since the start. It has not stopped. That recovery coming through, smacking Dev away, and also preventing a lot of damage from happening in that 2v1. They actually had complete control. They had left and right, and Doggo walked out on top. That was really interesting in the offstage. Doggo went for a downer. He's going to get the ground pound on the left side and get that KO. But generally, when we see like Elsom line up with that downlight side air, you'll see the teammate go for a side air as a follow-up, kind of that handoff. But Doggo's going for a downer, trying to get some edge guard. Dex wow. does get the down sig. That was actually incredible from Dex. He Ooh. separated the both of them so well, trying to catch him off stage, slipping for hanging out too long, but didn't work out. But this only got to this point because Dex had an incredible coverage. But speaking of incredible coverage, Weapon Toss to make sure that he forces them off the wall into a guaranteed ground pound. They take game one, but it definitely looked a lot closer than expected for, uh, for a second there. Yeah, again, like starting this one off, we were like, you know, it's Elsa and Daga, two household names coming in, definitely the higher PR team. And uh, it was staying relatively even. There was a decent chance if Dex was able to get the KO onto Elsom that this could have just been a clean 1v1, but some great edge guards, some great team play from Elsom able to clean up the stock. Yeah, curious to see what Zach DeBoss' approach is going to be going into this after uh, that first game because there was a couple of stocks that lost pretty quick. Obviously, Hattori, not the heaviest. But, you know, there was there were good team combo lineups. It just actually couldn't get away from Doggo. Like, a majority of the problem was Doggo. And we're also seeing some hammer, too. We haven't really seen a whole lot of hammer recently in twos due to a couple changes, but also making it work which primarily with the orb. But even at the end, uh, and at the very beginning, I remember seeing a stock loss off of uh, a hammer nair. So still making it work here uh, in uh, in deuce. Yeah, the hammer stairs were definitely chunking. And of course, like that that coach pitch, that downlight side air is still a really good uh, setup tool. It's even gotten like a little bit more of a straight horizontal launch. So it can be a little bit more consistent. And this is what I wanted for the blue team is a little bit more area to move in. Miami Dome is a little bit more tight compared mm -hmm. to Demon Island. Yeah, we're going to go to Demon Island, like you said, for the second pick here. Uh, and... Uh, I hope that it helps out, especially with how, considering how Doggo's stage control was last game. I don't think that we can really look away from that in any way. He had oh, complete domination whoa. with that. But Deb, uh, over on the left-hand side, there's Zach the Boss. Meanwhile, Dex is uh, getting some... I, I like how uh, Zach is actually putting a target focus on Elsa more to make sure that he stops him from getting anything started after uh, Deb goes in. Yeah, this is something that like can sometimes happen in doubles is just the uh, the opposing team will just focus down the high defense legend trying to take him out early and you're seeing kind of that happen. D-Boss, Zach DeBoss really wants to finish off Elsom. The down is going to launch him and now they have the opportunity for the power play under Doggo, but Doggo is going to get that recovery, keep the blue team split. And Zach DeBoss is looking for a recovery. My goodness, everybody getting set far away. Both teams losing someone in the oh. middle of that. Uh, by favor of Doggo, and Doggo actually falls quickly, and Zach DeBoss holding on much better here in this game, getting D-Light uh, Dare, pushing him off stage, actually going Ooh. very hard. This actually could be an early knockout. Uh, Doggo getting in there to help save that. That was really bad looking for Elsom for a second. Yeah, that was a lot of threat coming out from Zach DeBoss, but uh, Elsom got away from it. Doggo able to help out.
out a little bit. Finally going to see that first stock of D-Boss fall. But look at the health of the red team. Blue team did a great job adding that extra credit. Yeah, you were 100% correct on that. They've, it, took, it took a while to get rid of uh, that stock. And Elsa finding with side air. But they are bo they both deep into red here. Where before, no! we're putting so much compliments. Double D-Light, though, instantly punished by that spear recovery. Good recognition from D-Boss, utilizing that high movement speed of Hattori to get in there, make sure that Doggo couldn't get the entire combo, and gets the KO onto Elsom. Zach DeBoss is popping off! He really is. I see another one go to that side or off the side. What is the difference you're seeing? What is the shift? Is it the stage? Or it's is the just stage. The fact there's that Zach there's DeBoss more going room off? to utilize that high movement speed in the Miami Dome. He's kind of cramped, getting caught up in a lot of stuff. You're not seeing that off stage that Doggo was doing so well. Oh, they almost evened it right back up there, though. They That's had true. such a good... Uh, uh, double up there, but the recovery off the orb is not going to be enough. Zack the Boss, however, though, deep in the red, cannot afford to take many more of those. Another side here off the side should take it. The Dex uh, trying to do his best to get in the middle to help, but it was not enough. One stock apiece. Yeah, and you see the red team able to mitigate the lead that the blue team had built on those second stocks. Dex has got to be careful here. He is the most damaged person on the field, and if he gets taken out, D-Boss is going to have a heck of a 1v1, but... It he gets back, D-Boss does uh, survive, but Dex gets taken out. Yeah, you're, you're saying Dex needed to do everything possible, and it was Elsom over there with the hammer, taking him out off the top. And now you got Doggo, who's able to reset. Doggo took so much damage this game compared to before, but those neutralized weapon toss in. They're sending them team over, combo. free team combo right here. And that should be it. Amazing control and positioning. As soon as you saw the jabs go up, it's like, okay, we're not completely in position yet. I'm going to dodge over to the other side. Now send them back over to you because Zach is probably going to be uh, scared of what happens next and caught him dodging instant free setup. Yeah, really well done from the red team. Kind of clutching that one up. It was looking really good for the blue team for a little while there, but the red team said none of that. We're able to split up this blue team and convert into a KO. Right there, there's that jab. Weapon toss in, jumps right over immediately because he knew that there was going to be some sort of defensive choice that happened. Because what, what else are you going to do? You don't really, <laughs> you're looking at Elsom yeah. coming right at you. Very easy cleanup after what was looking like it was going to be Whoa. Blue Team's game. <laughs> and Doggo wasting no time trying to find one very quickly. Now, probably wouldn't have gone away, but that was <laughs> a lot of damage to start. They were very high, and Doggo did go for that gravity cancel and sig. Zach DeBoss holding on for dear life. and. That might be the kind of recognition of the red team being like, you know what, Zach DeBoss did really well in the last one. Let's just try to shut him down. I think that's the best idea. Uh, after what happened last game, it's like, look, Zach is the main reason why they were in it. It's on Dex to pick it up this time round. And uh, they are doing their best to do that. Uh, Elsom looking for a reversal there. Oh. He does instead find them, though, afterwards, even after missing that there, still closes it out on Zach trying to go get him. And Dexity not able to convert into extra damage into a KO. Zach DeBoss really getting aggressive there, wants to get an even stock count, but ends up just kind of taking some damage before he can pick up a weapon. Both of them separating right now. Sider sending over towards Dex, but Dex was still off stage, couldn't really do much to follow up off of that. Recovery still not enough to get rid of Doggo off the top. Dex at least doing much better on survivability so far here, Duke. Yeah, he is surviving, but as we say, it gets taken out by the side air from Elsom. Only one still sitting on that first stock is Elsom, but Zach DePoss has got to be careful. He's already adding up a lot of damage on the second stock. Like you're mentioning that that defense on Thor just helping him out so much. Even with that recovery, they're still not able to take off the top. That should definitely do it, though. There's not a world where you should be making that one back. Yeah, that Orion D6, such a good tool for finishing off stocks. Zach DePoss does, doesn't have enough KO power for a downlight recovery, so he goes for the side air, wants some stage control. Gets back safely. Good dodge past Elsom over there looking to oh, catch the team combo. Oh, free team combo. And they immediately shifted targets the moment Zach came in, too. Their team communication has been on point, but oh. Doggo does fall. The stock count actually in favor of the blue team. This might be the opportunity for the blue team to get on the board. Zach to boss, he's been surviving. And Dex definitely looking better than last game for sure, but now this is where they've been so strong. Every time they have a free power play, they've gotten it. Dex somehow walked away. That was so important that Dex did not lose that stock and miss all of that, and he's able to get back down. And Zach sends him down. I don't know if... Okay, all right, he was yeah. able to make it back on because Doggo got in the way. Yeah, just in case you saw Doggo go over there, there was a weapon toss just kind of putting hitboxes out, and uh, Elsom able to survive all of that. Doggo immediately Ooh, smacking him down, say, get out of here. I'm not trying to deal with you right now. Uh, Dex is also holding on to this one for a long time. This is uh, incredibly okay. finds the recovery, but Dex needs to keep doing exactly what he's doing. However, getting hit by one side light, not punished, luckily, by Zach, who was over by there, uh, trying to accidentally assist the bread team. 
I think at this point, Dex can get a little bit more aggressive. Now he's down to his final stock. If they take out Doggo, good opportunity here for the blue team to finish off this stock and take a game. It definitely looking a lot better here, dude, compared to the... I mean, they uh -oh. looked good the first time. They were able to close it. This is a huge play. Zach needs Can to get saved. Him? He, he misses the nair. He's going to fall. He's not going to be able to make that back. He did all he could to try and help him down at the bottom of the blast zone, but he misses the nair and then falls himself. What and that's going to be Elsom and Doggo taking it here 3-0. But that very much should have been a 2-1 the way that was going. But at the end of the day, we take those. And they're going to go ahead and move forward into elimination finals. Yeah, I mean, credit to Elsom. Had a fantastic edge guard with the orb. Caught the dodge down, I believe. Oh, no, it was a down air that he hit. And Dex just not able to hit the nair. Elsom converting into a second KO for the double, for the cleanup, for the set. And Elsom and Doggo go into the top three. Yeah, amazing job from them. I mean, they were able to do a similar thing in game two. That one, unfortunately, came to uh, you know, a, a missed save. But even then, if you don't go out there, you're fighting a 2v1. So you, you need to make that happen to stay alive. But in game two, that one.